Welcome back to Bible from the Dance. Today we're studying Psalms chapter 48 and 49. And guess who's back to recap today? Woohoo! <laughs> All right. All right. So, voice crack. Psalm 48 starts off and the author of this psalm is worshiping God and um, it's about God and the mountain of Zion which is basically um, what they consider to be the city of God. So anyway, they're worshiping God, um, praising him, calling him a mighty citadel. Um, fortress. A fortress, someone to go to in times of trouble. And then in Psalm 49, it's telling us not to worry about our earthly lives because this is only temporary and it's what matters in the afterlife in heaven that's important agree it's talking about um when we focus too much on earthly things then it causes us to fear but when we keep our focus on god and on things of god we don't fear that's right we trust in him and it's a good reminder for us not to place too much value on the things of the earth um, because eternal things are the only things that last forever so Jax, what was your takeaway Okay, so my takeaway was in the first psalm, and it's um, basically worshiping God for saying how good he is, how he's a fortress, someone who we need, someone who we can go to in times of trouble, and he'll protect us. I like that. I like how the strength of the mountain is compared to how mighty and strong and powerful and victorious God is. It sounds a lot like a military psalm to me as I read through it. John, what was your takeaway? My takeaway was basically what they just said, not Jackson's takeaway, before, um, uh... About Psalm 49? Where they said, don't focus on earthly things, because those are only temporary. Focus on heavenly things, because those are forever. That's right. And that's uh, my takeaway today, too. I am thankful for this reminder to keep my mind and my focus on the things that God wants me to think about and not on the things that the world tells me is important or that I should focus on. Nothing, I'm not to focus on anything that of the world that can take my attention from God. It can be super easy for us to do this, like when I have a really long to-do list um, or my schedule is full or when I'm redecorating a room in a house or when I think about my relationships with others, I can too easily spend too much time thinking about or planning or focusing on those things, placing too much value on things that don't last forever. And this is why it's super important for me and for all of us, I think, to set apart time to make sure we are spending time with God every day, talking to Him, spending time reading his word to us so that he can reset our minds to what he wants us to think about. So today's challenge, have you placed too much focus on things that are not lasting? What are some things that can take their attention, take that attention from God? Um, and so if, if you think of some of those things, let's ask God to help us to set our minds on him and to to help us to focus on things he wants us to think about. And let's memorize a little verse um, to hide it in our hearts as a reminder to us. And the verse is Colossians 3, 2, and it says, Set your minds on things above and not on earthly things. So that's a pretty easy one to remember. Set your mind on things above and not on earthly things. All right, friends, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.